All right, guys, you know I love to collect stickers and pins. I got this sweet San Diego Rockets pin for one of you. One of you, tell me. At the end of the video, I will tell you how you can get this. But you gotta watch to the end, guys. Free pin. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Zip, and I'm back at the Toyota Center to bring you another vlog from the Houston Rockets game. Tonight is January 18th, 2023, and the Rockets are taking on the Charlotte Hornets. Can tonight be the night where they actually light the fuse and bring home a win? Come along and join me on and find out with me on this episode of the most epic adventures. Hello. Oh, and that's Rachel. <laughs> All right, we came in through the team shop line. Let's go right into the team shop. I didn't show you this last time. Look at all the San Diego Rocket stuff they brought back this year. That is so cool. All right, pre-game, walking through the arena. Hashtag walking. They got the 50-50 raffle like every other sports team. There's a tall guy. You can give him a high five. <laughs> Rachel is tall, so she's excited to see so many tall people at the basketball game. Imagine that. Tall people like basketball. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Who would have? <laughs> the pulled pork sandwiches. Got all of the... Um, what, do you, what did you call these? Are these, these aren't murals. Pin it, no. Big posters. Player posters here in the concourse leading up to the Frost Club section. Here we go, we're right here. Look at, oh, we're in the club section this time. You got shorter lines for food. Look at these bartenders, they just want to serve you. Because they're there, you know? You can see them making some pretzels over there. It's the pregame show. It's Mario Ellie, Calvin Murphy, and Kevin Eschenfelder doing the Rockets pregame. What? Guys, if you want tickets, ticket packages, season tickets for the Rockets, you got to call my boy Carl! Carl! Right here. There's his info. Freeze it. Screen cap it. This is your guy right here. Call Carl at the Houston Rockets. <laughs> There's Bill Curry doing the broadcast for uh, Valley Sports Carolinas. And, uh, you know, he was a pretty good player in his own right, but his son Steph probably way better. But well, look at where we're at. We are right at the half court line. My goodness, guys. What is going on? At the twilight's last please. Now it's going to go all hype for the Rockets introductions. I think they're getting ready to light the fuse or something. Hey, that's where we are. We're inside there. Woo! 
double steal. The Rockets are starting out pretty good. Oh, he just threw it away. Come on. That's, I think, Luke Longley's son. No. Plumley, Mason Plumley. That's not Longley. Mason Plumley. Big. That dude is tall. He's slow. Jalen Green is on fire. Oh, look at the kid dance. Look at him go. Look at him go. That's the end of the first quarter, everybody. The Rockets are down 36 to 31. Ah. I think that's team owner Hunter Tillman for Tina right there. Watch his team right there, court side, mid court. So Tillman, what are you going to do to make the team better? Tell us. What are we going to do to make the team better? Getting their shots blocked is not a good way to get get better. Come on, there you go. There's the and one. Not many free throws in this game. The Rockets are not looking good. They're not looking good. Here we go. All right, Garuba got fouled going for the shot, so he's got two free throws. I didn't mention this earlier. The Rockets are 10 and 34. The Charlotte Hornets are only half a game better at 11 and 34. So this is going to be a big win for whoever can come out with this tonight. Let's see if Garuba, he missed the first shot. Let's see if he can make the second one. Think he's going to make it? He does not. He does not. Yeah, what that guy said. Oh. I mean, Charlotte doesn't look very good either. Oh, I didn't move it. I missed it. I missed the dunk. Oh! Did you know that the Rockets Power Dancers are now called the Clutch City Dancers? I think that's kind of weird. What? It's science, man! Right there. Right there. Right next to the owner. Oh. Coming to the end of the first half here. That's they're. So it looks like we're gonna be taking the lead into halftime, guys. 60 to 53, Rockets up in the first half. They didn't look great, but they did just a little bit better. Get the DJ way up there. You want to make some noise? Houston makes some noise! Come on, let's go second half, Rockets. Let's take this win! Technical foul to start the second half, but the Rockets get a free throw. I've never seen that. Why is this out of focus? It's focusing on that lady's head. That's weird. Come on, Rockets. Come on, let's go. Oh, getting blocked from behind. Let's get back on defense. Nope, that's not getting back on defense. LaMelo Ball hurt his ankle. He just came out of the game. He does look like he's in some legitimate pain there on the bench. I hope he's okay, man. I hope he's okay. We have back to back flops trying to dunk the ball. The guy, our guy missed it. Their guy missed it. Both teams, come on. They have Thor on their team. They have one of their one of the Avengers. All right, play some defense here. We're up by three. We're up by three. Don't let them. Don't let them tie it. Don't let them tie it. 
All right. Good defense with the transition fast break. Oh, that was bad. Bad execution there. That was bad. Offensive foul. Offensive there we go. Nice. All right. Third quarter is over. We're up by one. I don't know how. We did not look good, but we're up by one. Going into the fourth and final quarter. Will the Rockets prevail? I think so. I think, Rachel, I think you're a good luck charm. <laughs> there are the Red Rowdies. They're out of focus, but I see John Denman and Scott Doyle. What up, dudes? It's T-shirt cannon time. We are actually where we can actually get a T-shirt. Look at him. They're just shooting that thing. A machine gun of T-shirts. It's insane. Oh! Where are the shirts? This guy, he's, he's gonna shoot him. This guy right here. This guy with the T-shirt bazooka. It's a T-shirt bazooka. Oh! Right there. What? T-shirt bazooka! T-shirt bazooka! Where's it gonna go? Missing another three. We call him Mason because he's a bricklayer. Oh my gosh. You can't win throwing up bricks. You gotta throw a basketball so make it into the basket. Come on. I mean, Jalen Green's been great, but it, nobody else really has been. All right, it's 110 to 100. Hornets up with over three minutes left to go. And then we can 112, 100. You know, a few years ago, Houston Rockets would just throw up a bunch of three pointers and score like 130, 140 a game. I miss that. Like, what are they going for? They're just going for layups. They just lay up. It's layup city. Jalen Green is playing like a man on fire. He's got over. He's got 40 points. The Rockets only down three. They were down like 12 just a minute ago. There's 16.2 seconds left. Mason Plumley. Hopefully Mason throws some bricks. Yes. Yes, he did. The first one's a brick. So we misses this one. We get it back. We shoot a three. We can tie it up. You see a lot of people left early. They're missing out. Don't ever leave a game early. You never know what's going to happen. We made it. So now we're down by four with 16.2 seconds left. All right. Jalen Green is at the line. We're down by four. He's taking two free throws. He's already got 40. Make that. Oh. Make it 40. Oh. So. We really needed to make that one. Miss a second, we'll get the rebound, throw it out, and get the three-point play. But he messed up by missing the first shot. He's been so hot all game. That's a shame. What a shame. All right, so now we're down by three with 13.6 seconds left in the game. So I try to waste the time. Got a foul. 7.1 seconds left. All right, he's, he's, he's gonna ice it. He's got a chance to ice it here. And that's, that's cold. That is cold right there. Now we see more people getting up out of their seats leaving. It's, it's pretty much mathematically impossible for them to come back from this. You never know. You never know. Oh, that's... Yep. Shoot it. Just go for it. Why not? Rockets lose. Final 
Final score 117 122. Rockets are 10 and 35 on the season now. Charlotte Hornets improved to 12 and 34. Not a good team either. Get them next time. We'll get them next time. And then there's the post game show. Gotta, ex gotta explain another Rockets loss. What happened this time, Earl Ellie? I don't know. All right, we're hashtag walking after a Rockets loss. <laughs> Go through the concourse. It'd be a lot different if if they won. If they won, the people would be a lot happier. They'd be more excited. But you know, it is what it is. They're a young team. Young team. We got a lot going for them in the future, I guess. That's what we can say. Do you think we need James Harden back? Some people might think so. What do you think? What do you think? So here we are, all of the outside action after the game. People selling colored balloons. What a festival atmosphere. All right, guys, if you want that San Diego Rockets pin that I showed you at the beginning, here's what I'm going to do. It's not going to be the first person this time. I'm going to do a drawing on my live stream on Monday. So you got to watch that live stream on Monday. But you got to comment on this video. Tell me who was the first ever draft pick for the San Diego Rockets. First ever draft pick for the San Diego Rockets. If you had, if you tell me the right answer in the comments, I will put you in the drawing for the pin, and I will do that on my live stream on Monday. So, again, thanks so much for watching. I'm Rob Zip. Remember to drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventures.